Divorce clerk in China says that she's responsible for preventing 500 divorces over nine years. Now, there's no way to confirm her claims, but that's what she claims. Mm -hmm. And the way that she did that was when couples came into her office, she would come up with excuses like, oh, the printer's broken, sorry, you have to come back later. And a lot of times the couples wouldn't come back. They would go home and they would work things out. And uh, as a result, they wouldn't end up getting a divorce. Now, the question is, was that the right thing to do? As a divorce clerk, you're supposed to give them a divorce if that's what they want or help them file for a divorce. Jenk, what do you think? Drop it. You know, I'm really torn on this, actually. And that's part of why I wanted to hear out what everybody's opinion on this is. Um, Look, sometimes uh, people will try to help. I have a situation in my family where a doctor uh, told a family member, hey, don't get an abortion. Uh, and they didn't, and it wound up producing some parts of our family, okay? okay? And so, and the reason they were gonna get an abortion, this is a long time ago, is because uh, that person had tremendous difficulty in childbirth and were, was worried about uh, you know, dying during childbirth. And so, so in that case it wound up wonderful, but in some cases I'm sure it doesn't. So the 500 marriages that she saved, it was probably a great thing that she saved 375 of them and they just needed to cool down a little bit, mm -hmm. go home and talk it through a little bit and they, they were fine and probably helped their kids if they had any, etc. And probably in 125 cases, they went back and the woman continued to get abused by her husband. Yeah. I just one of like many possibilities as to what's wrong with the marriage. Or the woman was, she continued to cheat on the husband and he just wound up sitting there and taking it, whatever. I mean, cook up any scenario you like. And so, you know, I'm not so sure that that's her role. Some good, some bad. What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm against it. I'm 100% against it. Let's say worst case scenario, a couple that shouldn't be getting a divorce ends up getting a divorce, whatever. Maybe they'll reconnect later. It's not the end of the world, right? I'm, I'm not one of those people who believes there's one person out there for you and that's it. But you know what's worse? When a couple comes in or a woman comes in and wants to file for divorce because her husband's being abusive or maybe the other way around and you take matters into your own hands and you decide, no, I want to be a matchmaker and I'm not going to well, he, she's not preventing them by getting a divorce. She's not saying, no, you can't. But you're making it even more difficult. You're creating an obstacle for them. And I don't agree with that. Stay out of people's lives. If they want to get a divorce, then you do your job as a clerk and you file for divorce for them. Justice Jackson. You know what? You guys swayed me. I was totally for it at first. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad I went third. Because, um, yeah, I mean, and, and come to think of it in reality, so they get divorced. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't want to make it. There might be, there might be it, kids involved. Right. So that, yeah, it's but not I don't want to make it too flippant because, I mean, as you, I think we're saying the extreme cases of abuse and stuff. But even if it's just general fighting and there's no actual, you know, physical or even mental abuse going on, kids are sitting there, they're experiencing this. So it probably is better if they're not together. And if they stay together, it's maybe because they're lazy and all that stuff. But, I mean, and also marriage. Yeah, you're in marriage. The point of it is the relationship, not because of this this arrangement that you signed. All right. I, you know. Yeah, I've come to a decision. It, uh, Jesus, it appears that uh, you agreed with JR. Yeah. yeah, confirming. Okay. So we're now unanimous then. Because, look, if it's a family member and you say, hey, guys, let's give it a week, let's give it a month, you want to help them out, have at it, Hoss. And that might really help them in a lot of ways. If it's a government official, you don't get to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not your call to make. Your call is to, your job is to print out the divorce papers. So it's, it's not your place to get into the middle of their personal lives because you don't know what's happening in their personal lives. Mm -hmm. So do your job. I know she's being celebrated here and I hate to rain on our parade, but sad day, guilty. Guilty.